Oh no, flashing already. Yeah. So we out here on the tarmac. Don't be lame in my vlog, yeah. You know? Don't make a vlog. Of course I'm making a vlog. I make daily videos right now. What am I supposed to do? Not make a video of us going on an airplane? Learned about these in fluids. Oh. It's for measuring uh, oh, yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah. Air pressure. Oh dang, it's smaller than I remember. Oh dang, you're bigger than yeah, I you're, remember. <laughs> you were a lot smaller when you were here. Can I get the back seat? Yeah. Cool. Front seat looks cool. No, no, back seat's gonna be cool. <laughs> Yeah, I need the POV shots in the front seat. Okay, so we are here at Gillespie Field in San Diego. My uncle, my aunts, my brothers, <laughs> he's my uncle uh, on my dad's side. That's his brother-in-law to be very, very specific about who this person is. So he lives in the middle of nowhere, basically, in El Cajon, in, <laughs> in, El, Cajon, in El Cajon, Nevada. Uh, if you've heard of it, it's actually a really cool spot. We've been there a bunch of times. It was before we were like taking photos basically, so we didn't really know what we were doing and what we had because it's a super beautiful place up in the northern part of Nevada. So he's got this plane and he's gonna take us up in it. It's The sun is about to set and it's gonna be an epic sunset. If you can see right there, the clouds, uh, that sunset though, it's about to pop off for sure. And uh, I'm super excited. I think my brother's excited too, but he's being annoying right now, so I'm not gonna interview him. Uh, but yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to basically uh, Imperial. Imperial, so we're gonna go down to Imperial Beach and then make our way north basically until Camp Pendleton and then we're gonna cut back to here in San Diego, Santee, El Cajon area. Um, so I think the sunset's gonna be insane. We're gonna try to get some really nice shots of like the city skyline from the sky. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, off the charts what we can do up in this plane and it's gonna be a lot cooler than just having a drone up there. Is my camera? Okay, so I've got ticking battery on this, only flashing light left. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot what I can on this camera and then of course I've got my 1DX2 in the bag. I'm gonna have that on the 24 millimeter primarily, but I also have the long boy, that 70 to 200. So I'm gonna see what kind of shots I can get. And then Ian has an 18 to 35 Sigma on his crop sensor Nikon. So he's gonna be a little bit tighter than I am and uh, we're hopefully gonna get some really dynamic and different shots up there in the sky. So let's see what we can do. to fly this plane. Uh, what? what? No, no, I'm talking to the camera. I can't hear you. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm serious, I can't hear you. Yeah, I know, it's not on yet. Uh. So, this is my Uncle Kim. <laughs> I don't know how often he has appeared on camera. Uh, so, it's real, we're, we're up here in this plane about to fly. He told me, uh, only open the window below 100, 120 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so the thing goes fast, but it also goes slow. And what's important about going slow is that we were able to uh, slow down and get some shots. And one also really nice thing that it has is a cell phone charger. So critical, critical. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Who wrote the song La Bamba? Para bailar La Bamba. La 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 bamba. <laughs> I don't know. I hope we don't get copyrighted for that. Okay, we do have sound on now. All right, let's get in the sky. Let's put the put this bird up in there. Oh, it's it's Richie Valens. Do you know how Richie Valens died?
that the San Diego Sea Cliffs are above us, and that's because we're flying at 100 feet right over Black's Beach right now. This is insane. Kim is not afraid to take it slow and low. So we're almost dragging our tail end in the water right here. In a, a primo surf check of Black's Beach right now. taking a wave right now and then we just got that shot from the sky that would be a sight to behold for sure so passing through these sea cliffs right now the sun is just setting and then maybe we're going to cut back and hopefully we can get a view of uh san diego skyline but it's just hard to get in there because the airport's right there and because it's christmas in two days we're having a hard time communicating with air traffic control to uh tell them that we want to do a little flyby so Taking what we can get right now, and it's definitely a fun and beautiful evening. Ian's out there getting all these awesome shots right now, and I've got a couple myself, but definitely a challenge your first time shooting in an airplane because you just don't know what you're doing, and uh, everything is super unpredictable. But man, we are so low. Okay, that was an incredible flight. Huge shout out to my Uncle Kim for taking us up. I think we're gonna go up again tomorrow, but I'm probably not gonna vlog it just cause it would be like two things back to back. Uh, but yeah, that was dope. There's still a little bit of burn up in the sky. It was just such a lucky sunset for us. And then, you know, this is a plane that we were flying in. It was really small, really compact. So it was pretty difficult to like actually get shots and be with purpose, you know, but oh man, he had us flying like 50 feet above the water. Like that was just insane. Like, cause we were going like over hundred miles an hour, like right over the water, like blazing past the people at Scripps Pier. And then we were at uh, Black's all of a sudden. And then we were at, uh, what's the next one, Torrey Pines? Yep. And so we just saw people that were surfing all over the place and people at the beach. And then there was one point where he was like, yeah, if there weren't so many people on the beach, I would just, you know, skid across the sand for a second. And I was like, uh, what, <laughs> excuse me? Like, that would be insane. Ian, would you, would you? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's a vlog, dude. You gotta, oh, yeah, Jake, you gotta pull it up. <laughs> Ian, would you poop your pants if he dropped it on the sand real quick? Probably not. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Ian's the king of mellowness when it comes to the vlog, but oh my gosh, I would be tripping if he did that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow my Uncle Kim on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know if he has a smartphone. Kim, do you have a smartphone? Do you have a smartphone? Do you have a smartphone? <laughs> he does not own a smartphone and I don't mean to bust on him I'm not I'm not trying to bust his shops or anything but they're just out there in the wilderness living life so okay I do have an old smartphone uh -huh. I use it to listen to books on tape <laughs> <laughs> so he uses it to listen to audiobooks <laughs> No, Uncle Kim's great. Their ranch is great. Hopefully we're making it out there soon one day. That would be dope. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.